Okay, so what we got here is the Enphase IQ Combiner 3 box. This is the box that enables you to take multiple circuits of solar uh, arrays and combine them into a single AC output that goes to your AC disconnect box that's located external to your house. And then from that AC disconnect um, box, that goes to your main breaker panel. So for this video, I just wanna go over this in phase IQ combiner three box. So I just got it, I just opened it. This is what it looks like. I'll walk through some of the main things to get it set up and up and running. So we're gonna open the box. There's these latches on the side. Comes locked like this. And then you just unlock it from the bottom open it like that and then inside there is a main cover that looks like this it's very um, nice very clean when it comes there's only one circuit breaker connected and if you look carefully here you might be able to it says envoy that's the actual device that monitors all the micro converters micro inverters um, it comes pre-populated but then these two um, are not. I just put these in. Okay, so this cover has four screws on every corner that you gotta disconnect or unscrew. Once you do that, then this cover comes off fairly easily. So here's the cover off. This is what it looks like on the inside. Like I said, I put these two breakers in uh, these are i have two circuits coming in so uh, i put these in but this one right here comes pre-populated here is the envoy uh circuit if you will um uh, pcb it has built-in wi-fi so i'll be setting that up later i'll have a separate video for that uh, but then you'll have your two ac um your, your AC circuits will come in, your two hot wires will go one in every in each one of those, and then you've got your ground bar right here, and then you'll take the, in my case, I've got eight gauge wire that will go from here out to the AC disconnect box. So this is what it looks like. Um, in order to run wires, this box supports drilling holes on the sides, and on the bottom for running your conduit or wire. So the way I'm gonna do that here is uh, I'm gonna drill one hole on every side so I can run conduit from the outside coming in here and then wires into each of these two breakers. So what I did is I, I'm about to um, drill the, the, the hole. I drilled a single hole, pilot hole in here on every side. Um, I did that just using a normal eighth, one eighth of an inch drill bit. And I'll be using a circular drill bit. I'll sh show you what that looks like, like this. So I'll be using this to kind of drill a hole right here. Um, I'm gonna be using three eighths of an inch conduit. So the outer diameter is Sorry, three quarters of an inch um, conduit. So in my case, my outer diameter is seven eighths of an inch. So I'll be making a seven eighth of an inch hole in here. And then that would enable me to run, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna run liquid, liquid tight, uh, non-metallic flexible. So here is the conduit that will go in. So. Once I drill the seven eighth of an inch hole here on the side, I'll be able to plug this in. You take this silver nut off, put this in here, and then conduit plugs right in this compression fitting, plugs in right here, and then you can run your wires. Pretty straightforward. I uh, just wanted to put together a video, show you the, the Envoy or Enphase IQ Combiner 3 box. Uh, and I'll have a, f I'll, I'll show you what it looks like after it's all put together. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled the holes. 
show you exactly what it looks like. This is a piece of conduit fitting. Um, I actually had to fill about an inch and a quarter um, diameter. It wasn't quite the seven eight that I thought it would be. Inch and a quarter. And then once I got it in, then you just put this nut on it, tighten it, and then you would plug in your conduit right into here. And then one on your wires, and then you connect them. Very neat. Um, when you do one of your wires, make sure that you um, have enough slack in there so you can pull the wire in and connect it. Like don't make the wire go right up to the conduit line. Make sure the wire is flexible and you can pull it through so you can make it all the way through. I'm gonna mount these, uh, this box, I'm gonna mount it up to the wall up here and then this will be ready to connect wiring to. Okay, well now the Enphase IQ Combiner 3 box is all mounted, ready to go. Pretty easy mounting. Um, it's actually a single bolt, single screw. So pretty easy, just find the stud, mount it. Um, just use like one and a half inch screws. Goes right in. Uh, I got my conduit fittings ready to go. Conduit will just plug in once I'm ready to do that. I put the cover back on just to make it look very nice and clean. I'll have two circuits, two arrays only. So, um, ready, pretty much ready to go. This is for the envoy and then the two main um, lugs, the plugs on the bottom will go back to the AC disconnect. There is a diagram, notional diagram, it just kind of tells you how this all fits together. Um, this box can hold up to um, three uh, arrays, so three circuits, so you can see one, two, and three. If you've got a battery storage, you can use one, this one for battery, or you can actually use it for solar, but there's a um, pass-through production CT that you'd have to have if you want to use this fourth breaker. This is for the Envoy, um, and then I'll be using two only. So pretty straightforward, pretty nice box. The Envoy is already plugged in, uh, ready to, to get set up once you're ready, once you've got all your uh, your solar panels and microinverters all plugged in, you can set up the um, Envoy. And I'll have a video later for that once it's ready to go.